everyone, and welcome back to the presidential D&D campaign, where AI-voiced US presidents play Dungeons and Dragons with me, Ben Shapiro, your AI Dungeon Master. Without further ado, let's get right into the session with a recap, and then we can continue on with our adventure. So, I believe last session we finished up with Barack's backstory. He ran back to Neverwinter and then got kicked out of the Academy because the headmaster was a demon cultist. Then back in the present, we went to explore the shipwreck just outside of Lug's cave. We found a first ghost who was talking about getting stabbed in the back by a friend of his, and then Donatello stabbed him in the back. We were moving up some stairs when I fell into a submerged room down below with a bunch of drowned zombies, and then Barack and Donatello are in a room with a bunch of ghosts up above. Damn, really trying to turn up the difficulty. This is like that scene in Harry Potter. Only if you cast a fireball from up there. All right, let's roll for initiative then. Joden, just as a couple of additional rules since you'll be fighting in the water, your bow has disadvantage, but your short swords are fine, and you have resistance to fire damage. In addition, if you are underwater and take a hit, you'll have to make a constitution saving throw to avoid inhaling a bunch of salt water. That's a bit of homebrew, but I think it makes sense. Damn, all right, let's do this. We'll be down to help you in just a moment, Joden, just don't die. That's a 21 for initiative for me. God damn it, I'm rolling terrible here, guys. I probably will need help. That's a 10 for me. That's an unnatural 20 for me. I got a 17, so it'll go Donatello, Barack, me, and then Joden. All right, Donatello, you're up first. Time to kill some ghosts. All right, I'll just be swinging with my long sword. That's a 25 and then a 12 to hit. What do we need to get? You need a 13, so that's just the one hit then. Damn it. That's only eight damage. That was stupid. I don't want to action surge yet either. Better to save that for whatever stupid dungeon boss Ben has worked up. All right, my turn then. I'm going to enter Bladesong using my bonus action and then cast Scorching Ray as a third level spell. I don't think Fireball would be a good choice here. Sure, it'd just blow up the ship. That's a nine, a 13, a 16, and a 19 to hit. So three of those hit for 11, four, and seven damage. How much health do these ghosts have? You are able to kill one of the ghosts with that damage plus Donatello's. All right, it's the zombies and the ghosts' turns now. The two remaining ghosts are going to all attack Donatello since he is in the lead. That's a 14 and a 22, so one of those does hit for 14 necrotic damage. You'll need to make a constitution saving throw too, Donatello. Not this shit again. Is it the same thing the Wraith did to me that almost killed me, allegedly at least? Yeah. Hell yeah, that's a 25 for me. All right, it's just the 14 damage then. Then the zombies are going to begin pulling Joden underwater. Joden, you'll need to make an athletics check, but I'll let you use dexterity instead of strength. Thank goodness, that's a 19. All right, you do resist the pull underwater, but you feel the zombies scratching at your legs as you kick them away. You take another 14 points of slashing damage. Damn, these guys hit hard. Well, there's 15 zombies down there. That's not very much damage across that many zombies. I guess that's fair. All right, Joden's turn then. Ben, am I faster than the zombies? You most certainly are, especially if you use your action to try to get further away. What about a door? Are there any doors or anything down here? There is a door, but it is underwater and on the other side of the room. You'd need to succeed on a strength check to push it open, and you don't quite know what is on the other side. Since the whole door is submerged, though, it wouldn't be a hard check or anything. Just have to push open a rotted and old door underwater. Well, that's where I'm heading, I guess. I can't just sit here until you guys finish up with the ghosts up above. All right, make a strength check. God damn it, I'm rolling completely garbage all of a sudden. That's a seven. All right, you aren't able to quite open the door before going back up for some air and to get out of the zombie's reach. Donatello, you're up next. Time to kill these ghosts for real this time. Damn, none of us are rolling good. You guys probably cursed me or something. That's a 17 and an 11, so only one of those hit for a total of 13 damage. All right, that ghost is still looming menacingly and does look injured from your hit. Anything else? Nah, still saving my action surge. At this rate, we might need to take a short rest, though. You and Joden both took a hit. Mostly Joden over there. I'm still doing fine. Whatever. All right, I'm going to slash with my scimitar at the ghost Donatello just hit and then firebolt it after that since I'm in Blade Song. Sounds good. Only a 12 to hit with the scimitar, but then a 24 with the firebolt for a total of 20 damage. Nice. All right. Your scimitar barely misses probably due to you being a bit out of practice with a sword, but as you unleash the firebolt, it leaves behind just a small puddle of ectoplasm on the floor. Anything else for your turn? No, that's it for me. All right, the last remaining ghost, or rather the last ghost focused on the two of you, is going to attack Donatello again. That's only a 10 to hit, so it misses. All right, now Joden, you'll need to make another dexterity saving throw to try to stay above the zombies. Hell yes, finally it's about time. That's a natural 20. All right, 
I'll say that you are actually able to just stay completely above the reaching zombie hands and take zero damage this round. You are also able to lead the zombies away from the door, giving you another chance to try to open it without risking an attack from the underwater zombies. It's your turn now too. I'm going for the door then. All right, things are looking up. That's a 21. You're able to push through the door and push it closed behind you, though you aren't quite sure how long it will hold against the zombies. The room is completely submerged, but also zombie free. You see some more of the crates, and out of the corner of your eye, and thanks to your dark vision, you see a small, watertight jewelry box. You also see a hole in the wall that would lead you into the ocean, just below where the entrance was that the party entered up above. I'm grabbing the jewelry box and then getting out of here then. I'll make my way through the ship and go meet up with them. All right, you are able to do both of those things, but we'll have to finish combat to see when you meet up with them. Donatello, it's your turn next. I swear, if I get below a 13 on either of these rolls, I'm gonna lose it for real this time. All right, this is more like it. That's a 19 on the die, which is a critical hit, and a 25, that's a total of 26 damage. With a quick slash back and forth, you reduce the last ghost to a steaming pile of ectoplasm as well, which drips through the floorboards into the room Joden had fallen into. Looking back, you see Joden, completely soaked from his trip in the ocean, climbing up the stairs. Glad you made it back, Joden. Yeah, yeah, enough chit chat. What's in the jewelry box? I think we should deal with the rest of the ghosts and this whole haunted ship thing first, right? Then we can take a look. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, do any of the other ghosts attack us, Ben? None of the other ones pay you any attention, too focused on their raging battle. The water damage does appear to be less up here, though there are many holes in the floor where the zombies had fallen down below. You find another staircase leading up another floor, presumably onto the deck, judging by the rays of light streaming through. Upwards we go then. Not completely sure where we need to go, though. Obviously, up Barack God, have you never played a video game? It's a rather straightforward dungeon here. Christ, Donald, I meant what our purpose is here. Unless it really is just treasure. I'd love to learn more about what happened to make this ship crash and end up here, and free those ghosts down below if we can. Yeah, I agree on both counts, though treasure isn't bad either. All right, as you come up on the deck, the sun is shining faintly through the thick mists rolling in from the ocean. A bird circles the crow's nest up above, and the top of the deck is a mess. You can see on the far side of the ship, the captain's quarters, a luminescent green glow emanating from under the door. As you swing the door open, you see that the inside has been remarkably well-preserved or is under some kind of illusion spell. Before you can really examine anything though, you see a spectral green figure rushing at you and just behind it, a lumbering zombie. Both of them are wearing a captain's hat and both look like they are out for blood. Traitors, traitors, the whole lot of you. I'll kill you, I'll kill all of you. A brief lag happens between the voice of the ghost and the voice of the zombie lumbering behind it. Interesting. A pirate captain ghost and a pirate captain zombie. Something strange is going on here for sure. All right, here we go, boss battle time. Yeah, let's roll for initiative. That's a 23 for me. A 13 for me. A 13 for me as well. You can go first though, Barack. Thanks, Joden. I only got a six, so you guys will go before the captain. Or captains, I guess. And I'm going first. All right, I'm going to attack the ghost one, and I'm going to use my action surge to attack twice. What do I need to hit? The ghost has a 16 armor class, and the zombie has an 18 armor class. Damn, upping the difficulty I see. All right, I got this, though. That's a 23, a 15, a 24, and a 19 on the dice for a critical hit. That's a total of 43 damage. Nice hit, Donatello. Thanks, I know, I'm pretty awesome. The captain hardly flinches as he swings out with his glowing green cutlass. Damn, only a 13 to hit though. I rolled pretty bad. Wait, why did he get to attack? He has legendary actions. Both of them do, actually. The other zombie is going to lunge forward as well, moving with superhuman speed to stand in front of both Joden and Barak. Well, I guess we are going to have to deal with this zombie then, while you deal with the ghost Donatello. No worries, I got this here, guys. I'll help you out once I finish this guy off. I'll go ahead and enter Bladesong with my bonus action, and then I guess I'll use my fourth level slot to cast Storm Sphere. Any chance I can hit both of them with that, Ben? It's a 40-foot sphere. You could, but then you'd also hit Donatello as well. Damn. Just hit me with it, I'll be fine. All right, just with the first part of the spell. You should move out of the sphere on your turn. All right, so the two captains and Donatello need to make a strength saving throw. Hell yeah, I got this for sure. That's a 25 for me, I'm on fire here, guys. I got a 19 on the ghost and an 11 on the zombie, so he will use his legendary resistance to succeed on that, though. Damn, all right. I need to wait until my next turn to cast a lightning bolt as my bonus action, so Joden, you're up. 
All right, well, I think I need to attack with my short swords, which aren't great, but otherwise he'd get an opportunity attack and might wreck Barack. What the hell? All right, you guys aren't going to believe this, but I just rolled three 19s in a row. I don't have Donatello's improved critical, but those all hit, right, Ben? Yeah, those all hit. Sweet, so that's a total of... Damn, 14 damage. I really need some better short swords, guys. You just need to use your bow. All right, also at the end of Joden's turn, the ghost is going to attack Donatello again. That's nine slashing damage and 11 necrotic damage. You don't need to roll this time, though, Donatello. He doesn't reduce your hit points. Holy hell. That wasn't even for his turn, right? That was just a legendary action? Yeah, now it is their turns. The ghost is going to attack Donatello twice. Damn, that's an 11 and a 10. One of those was a nat one and the other was a two. All right, the zombie is going to attack once at Joden and once at Barak. That's a 17 to hit Joden and a 27 to hit Barak. Joden, you take 11 slashing damage and 14 poison damage, and Barak, you take 16 slashing damage and eight poison. Barak, that also means you need to roll for your concentration. The save DC is 12. That was close. I can't take another hit like that, guys. I got a 15 on the save DC. They need to remake the strength saving throws, or they take damage, though, since they ended their turn in the sphere. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a fail on both of their parts, but they will use their remaining two legendary resistances to succeed instead. I really hate that feat. Yeah, it is pretty annoying. They don't have any more until tomorrow, though. Well, back to Donatello, then. Why the hell didn't Lug warn us about this? There's a good chance we die here, guys. I told you all we shouldn't have come here. Whatever. All right, I'm attacking the ghost again. That's a 16 and a 25 for a total of 24 damage. Then I'll also use second wind to recover. 15 hit points. I'll also move outside of the storm sphere, but stay within range of the ghost so he doesn't get an opportunity attack. That's my turn. All right, starting off on my turn, I'm going to throw the lightning bolt at this zombie. I have advantage since he is in the sphere too. That's a 19 for... Damn, only 9 damage. That was 4d6, and I only got a 9. That was dumb. All right, for my action, I'm actually going to disengage, and I'm going to use my extra movement speed to cross the deck as far as I can. All right, anything else for your turn, Barack? Sadly, no, that's it for me. I think you're right, Donatello. I need to use my bow, but if I move, then he gets an opportunity attack against me. Guess it's worth it, though. All right, Ben, I'm going to move and provoke an opportunity attack. I do get to move 35 feet because of my new armor, though. That's a 21 to hit, dealing 12 slashing damage and 13 poison damage. Damn, I'm dead then, guys. For reals, Joden, you're so weak. It wasn't my fault I was listening to you. Besides, I think you're the only one who's been down so far this whole campaign. All right, you aren't dead, though, just knocked unconscious. You'll have to make death saving throws to see what happens. Those will be kept private as well, so nobody will know if you are dying or not. All right, damn, is it their turn then? It is, yeah. So the zombie is going to have to dash to get over to Barak. He can't attack, but he is now face to face with you. Then the ghost is going to attack Donatello twice. Damn. You must have something watching over you because I can't hit you at all, Donatello, even with a plus nine to the hit. That's a 10 and a 14. All right. The ghost is going to make a strength saving throw again since he is still in the sphere. That's a 13, so he does fail and has no more legendary resistances. Damn, only five damage though. All right, that was pretty lucky for us. I guess I could just keep running away from this zombie. It takes his whole turn to catch up to me. Yeah, until he gets his legendary actions back. Then you're dead too. All right, my turn then? Yeah. I'm attacking the ghost, of course. That's a 13 and a 16, so only one of those hit for a total of 11 damage. All right, the ghost is looking wounded now. Now he's looking wounded? For Christ's sake, Ben, you can't just kill off all of us in one go. You guys chose to come to a dangerous shipwreck. Of course we did. You basically shouted that there was loot here. I guess that's fair. All right, anything else for your turn, Donatello? No, that's it for me. All right, I'm gonna lightning bolt this guy in the face. He got a 22 on the save, so he'll take half damage. Damn, all right. That's 32 total, so 16 lightning damage then. I'm also going to use my bonus action to throw a lightning bolt from the storm sphere at the ghost. I'm probably dead here, but I think our best bet is to kill the ghost and then focus the zombie. God damn it, only a 13 to hit, so that's a miss. All right, Joden, it is your turn now. Before you roll your death saving throw though, you do hear something in your unconscious mind. I can save you and your friends if you want me to. Just say yes and I can do it, a man says. The voice sounds incredibly familiar, but you can't quite place it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you all next time.